Hi, Ken Lauer from KenLauer.com. In feng shui, as in life, certain factors or areas must take priority over others. In feng shui, the three most important areas of a home or apartment are the main door, the kitchen, and the bedroom. If positive energy or chi collects outside and flows into these spaces, you'll bring money and opportunities into your life. If these areas are affected by a lack of chi or negative chi, any other positive changes you make won't have as much of an impact. Now, what I want to do is actually explore basic ways you can use feng shui for these three areas. Feng shui for your front door represents the way life comes to us, our opportunities and possibilities. It represents the yang dimension of experience. It's important to have a good main door and entrance to allow money, wealth, and opportunities to come into your space in your life. Now, if the chi or life energy is not able to get into your house to circulate freely, it's not going to matter much what else is going on in your space or what else you're doing. The main door is also what's called the chi mouth of the house. So make sure nothing's repelling, expelling, or blocking the chi from entering the house. Additionally, make sure no objects that exude sha or killing chi point to the front door. This may include a corner of a building from across the street, a T intersection that's coming right up against your door, an item that's blocking your door, or directly in line with your front door. The question to ask yourself regarding these items is, how far is it actually from your property or from your door? So to evaluate your entrance, stand at the front door, look out, and verify that there are no trees, lampposts, mailboxes, pillars, planters, or any other items that sit directly in line with the door. These items can have an impact on your ability to take advantage of incoming chi and may negatively affect and impact the health of your household. Now also what you want to do is do the opposite. Stand outside your front door and actually look into your home or your apartment. This area directly in front of the property is called the Bright Hall or the Ming Tong. Now chi settles here and collects before the residents receive it. Make sure the chi can collect and circulate. Avoid, again, placing anything here that repels, squeezes, or blocks the chi from entering the space. What I want to move on to now is actually the feng shui of your kitchen. Now, the kitchen specifically, the stove, represents our source of food and our ability to gain food through our work and our careers. Now, the stove has a great deal to do with our public life, our career, the recognition we receive, and the ability to manifest our goals and our dreams. As a result, make sure the top of the stove is clean and all the burners are working correctly. Use your stove regularly, and even if it's just to boil water or you're cooking something very quickly, it's okay. Just make sure that you begin to use the burners. And try to use all the burners rather than your favorite burner. Now, if there is poor chi in the kitchen, this could result in career issues, money difficulties, and bad health. Now let's move on to feng shui in your bedroom. Now we spend one third of our lives in the bedroom. It's a space to heal, rejuvenate, and relax, improving our health and vitality. Our bed is energetically connected to each of us. Sleep is a yin condition that the bed shelters, comforts, and enables us to truly rest illustrates its great importance. So when evaluating this space, look at not only how the chi is entering the room, but evaluate where your bed is located in relation to the incoming chi and what you want to do is try to put your bed in what's called the command position. So you're not in direct line with the door, but you still have a view of the door. And you don't want to be on the same wall as the door is. Your bedroom should be square or rectangle. This represents stability and makes the room suitable for sleeping. So avoid rooms that are round, L-shaped, triangular, or other odd shapes as they don't allow the balanced flow of chi. So what I want to do is invite you to learn more with free feng shui tips and daily words of wisdom at kenlauer.com and look forward to seeing you again soon.